Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Ad Mail. This is Adam Bergman, founder and CEO of IRA Financial. I'm here to help you find the answers to the most frequently asked questions from my clients about self-directed retirement accounts. If you want to learn more, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Just search IRA Financial. Hello everybody, Adam Bergman here, tax attorney and founder of IRA Financial. Welcome to another episode of Ad Mail. On today's episode, I am going to be chatting about and explaining to you everything you need to know about the three following topics. One about the new solo 401k $1,500 tax credit, how that works. The second is, can you set up a 401k if you have a simple IRA? For your business. And thirdly, having a business with lots of employees and want to do a ROPS. Can you do it? What's the best structuring to try to use retirement money to invest in your business tax-free? So really fun packed episode for you. Uh, buckle up. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, without further ado, let's get started. First question is from LinkedIn. And uh, just a quick uh, housekeeping note. If you uh, like the podcast, please Give it a review, five star, uh, thumbs up, just something. The more positive reviews I get, the more um, this podcast gets uh, bumped up the ratings and more people can find it and listen to it and hopefully uh, learn from it. So just a quick review um, would be you know super appreciative. Um, thank you. Okay. Uh, I watched your video on the $1,500 tax credit for auto enrollment for my solo 401k plan. Does that impact my solo 401k plan in any way? So great question. Short answer is no. The beauty of this auto enrollment credit, which if you watch videos I've done in the past or blogs uh, you may have read, in Secure Act 2.0, which was passed December 2022, uh, there's a number of tax credits for 401k plans, startup credits, employer profit sharing, for example. Generally, they all apply to 401ks that have non-highly competent employees folks that make less than 150K. We know the solo K, it's for the owner-only business. So there's no non-owner employees and certainly no non-highly compensated employees. But there's kind of a error slash um, this hypo slash uh, screw up. <laughs> not uh, kind of more accurate word to say than just an IRS slash congressional screw up where they didn't put the words non-highly compensated employee in the definition for this auto enrollment credit. So if you have a solo K and you auto enroll, you just literally check the box auto enroll, you can literally get a $1,500 tax credit over three years. So 500 bucks tax credit a year for three years, simply by filing form 8881 for literally doing nothing. And it has no impact on your solo K. You still have a solo K. You literally just have to check the auto enrollment. Of course, you want to be able to make contributions to the plan. So it shouldn't be um, a nuisance or an issue at all. You just literally check the plan, uh, check the box in the plan docs, which uh, we'll do for you. So it doesn't impact your solo at all. No need to worry. Second question from Carly R. of Houston, Texas. Carly wants to know, I have a simple IRA in 2023. If I set up a 401k plan in 2024, can I use it for 23? Short answer is no. The way the simple IRA rules work is because the 23 years closed, you can't go and change your simple IRA. You can start in 24. So under Secure Act 2.0, again, another good piece of legislation in Secure Act, you can now, if you start a simple IRA, you can now switch to a safe harbor 401k mid-year. In the past, before Secure Act 2.0, you couldn't. The problem is you can't go back. Since 23 is closed, you can't go back and take away the simple to put a 401k. So Carly, the simple is basically stuck for 2023. And going forward in 24, we can certainly move the simple to a 401k. Why would you want to do that? Well, you can put away a lot more money, 23 or 30,500 if you're over 50. A simple is, you know, you're stuck at 16 plus a smaller catch up. There's no loan feature. Um, so it's obviously the 401k is a much better, more popular plan. So you can't go back in 23, but you can go forward in 24. Now, the third and final question of today's podcast from Terrence W. of Chicago, Illinois. Terrence wants to know, I have a business that has an S-Corp with 18 employees and really want to do a ROPS. 
the business is doing really well. Am I a good candidate for Rob? So a Rob is a rollover business startup. It allows you to use 401k funds to buy stock in a adopting employer, a C-Corp, not an LC, but a C-Corp, not an S-Corp. And the advantage of Rob's is threefold. You can use your retirement funds tax-free to roll over into the business. You can then sell the stock tax-free and then any dividends from the corporation go back to the 401k tax-free. It's a really tax-efficient strategy. The issue is it's not for everyone. Why? Because it's much easier to set up a Rob's for a startup. No employees, the value of the business is super low. In your case, Terrence, I don't have all the facts, but you have an S-Corp, so that's a minor issue because we have to revert back to a C-Corp. So basically um, close the S election, which um, shouldn't potentially not have any tax ramifications, but something you'd have to look at with your advisor. Uh, number two, you have 18 employees. So we'd have to offer them benefits, uh, potentially even offer them the ability to buy stock in your company since you want to provide um, employees uh, all the same benefits that you, know, you would have. Um, and if you don't do that, you may fail the top heavy test. So that's something we'd have to look at. Um, and then thirdly, it's the value, right? You said your business is doing well. You have 18 employees. You're probably making money. Do you have enough money in your retirement money to buy the business, right? Because it's got to be for fair value. If you have 5,000 bucks in your IRA and you want to do a ROBS, but your business is worth 3 million bucks, can't really buy much. That's why ROBS is really, I think, more successfully um, used when it's a startup, so the value is low. You can use less retirement money to buy more of the business. Um, don't have any employees, so it's just kind of easier to get started. Uh, you don't have to offer them any you know, potential opportunities to buy into stock of the company. Um, and uh, it's just kind of easier to get done. But if Terrence, if your company was a C Corp and maybe you only had one or two employees and the value was quite low because there was future growth ahead of you, depending on how much you had, maybe your retirement money could buy in. But Terrence, I don't know the value of your business and give us a call. We'd love to help you and kind of figure all this out. There could be a way to do it. That's what we really, uh, I think, excel at is plan design is coming up with the best structure, best 401k for uh, your business, for you to maximize savings, maximize investment structure. And, and um, you know, I, I, we have an amazing team of um, 401k administrators and actuaries that can handle all that for you. Um, you may, maybe it's, you'd want to set up a cash balance plan, right? There's other things. Maybe it's just a 401k. Um, I'd have to, kind of figured out my team would have to look at this and kind of figure out if you are a good candidate just based off you know the short couple words we have from you i'm not sure just because i don't know how much retirement money you have and you have enough that it's going to be worthwhile to do this then we have to look at the s to c election and then we have to figure out how many employees you want to participate in and what that uh, cost will be to your business so paul is terrence uh that's the beauty of what we do we we structure investments, transactions um, to satisfy your needs. Uh, we don't just sell you know, out of the box IRAs or Form Ks or ROBs. That's what sets us apart. And we have specific self-directed plans for each type of investment. So call us. But thank you, Carly. And thank you to the individual LinkedIn. Um, hope you guys enjoy this podcast. It's a fun one. Ad mails are always fun. They're short, literally, generally less than 10 minutes. And um, you know, I, I try to really dive into um, three, I think, important, fun questions that I like and I find enjoyable and, and awful, awful, often learn from. Uh, I wish I could talk better today. But yeah, I often learn a lot from these questions. So thank you. It's a weekly podcast. It drops generally every like, Thursday or so. So definitely uh, check it out. Otherwise, um, have a great rest of your day. Please don't forget to leave a... Um, a review, a good one, hopefully. Um, and that's it. Have a great day. I'll see everyone next time. Ciao.